Well, Alexis, we're going to be having a hot, do hot one for any of these outdoor activities for sure. That is right. Time is 616 this morning. And as we take a look at your Capitol building, really nice clouds behind there. I do expect a few more clouds today than we saw yesterday. Those temperatures already off to a warm start. We're at 70 here in Madison with a good amount of cloud cover. Those dew points, though, are in the 60s when we typically see them around there. That, that's a signal of how much moisture is in the atmosphere. So we are going to be watching the chance for a few pop up showers and storms later on this afternoon and evening, but it is 4th of July. A lot of people are out and about today. Things to keep in mind. UV index is high. Pollen is low, though, even with the, even with the cloud cover today. Make sure you have that sunscreen handy. Air quality is moderate, but we are expected to move into the unhealthy for some of us uh, category today. So uh, that air quality will worsen. We have an air quality alert in effect from 10 a.m. to 11 p.m. So make sure you're taking care of yourself. But it is Independence Day. Those temperatures warming pretty quickly. Upper 80s by lunchtime, 92 this afternoon. Partly sunny, a little humid, and then the chance for an isolated shower or storm this afternoon and evening. But big changes are on the way. Looking at a more widespread rain event tomorrow. Thanks to this cold front, and this will cool us down as we go into your Thursday. Zooming in, though, a little bit of rain tried to fall over parts of southern Wisconsin. Grant County saw a little bit of that as well, over towards Prairie du Chien, a little bit of rain there. The rest of us are dry. But I think we're going to stay mostly dry through the rest of today as well, at least this morning. We're partly sunny this morning as we quickly warm up, and you'll feel that little bit of humidity in the air as well. Now, we have a chance for some isolated showers and storms to pop up this afternoon. Right now, I'm actually thinking that the best chance to see those pop ups will be along and to the east of I 39 90 94. So a little bit closer to Milwaukee, but everybody does have the chance to see a sprinkle or two this evening for fireworks. I think we dry out. We're good to go there and we're actually looking to stay dry all of tonight now. Closer to sunrise tomorrow morning, a few storms will start to make their way in to our northwestern areas, but I think we stay dry until about mid to late morning tomorrow. I think the best rain chances here are from about 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. The longer these showers and storms linger tomorrow afternoon, the more chance we have for some of us to see a severe threat there. We'll talk about that in just a second, but during the afternoon and evening, that's when we have the most energy in the atmosphere, so we don't want them to stick around that long, but we do want some rain tomorrow, which does look likely before we cool down and dry out into Thursday. That severe potential that we talked about Slight risk stays to our south, but parts of Green and Rock County do fall under that slight risk there. The rest of us in a marginal risk tomorrow during the midday hours. Mainly, I think we're going to be warned for wind and hail, so I could see a few borderline severe storms, but uh, not looking too impressive with a severe threat. What does look pretty impressive, though, rainfall totals. We need at least a little bit of rain with our drought right now. I do think most, if not all of us, see about a half an inch, potentially higher amounts where we see an inch or so uh, where those thunderstorms can form. So like I said, the best chance to see this rain here is going to be about uh, midday or so tomorrow. So those rain chances increase through the next uh, couple of hours and then into tomorrow. Good rain chance there. 80% chance actually for tomorrow. 77 your high for Thursday, 80 on Friday. Slight chance for a few pop-ups going into to this weekend with highs in the low 80s.